Far from the rigours of the training pitch, the British Embassy, the business community and the Sydney Welsh Society welcomed the squad to the British Ambassador's residence. Despite losing the two test matches in Brisbane and Melbourne, the squad have created a very positive image of Welsh rugby in Australia, even within diplomatic circles. Tonight, of course, we're focused on Wales. Uh, the ties between Wales and New South Wales and Australia are strong and go beyond just that name. There are a whole variety of connections, cultural, political and sporting. Famous Australians have connections to Wales, including names as diverse as Prime Minister Julia Gillard, who's born in Wales, Kylie Minogue, Rolf Harris and David Jones Department Store. Happily, Australia's Paralympic team will be basing themselves in South Wales in the run-up to the Olympic Games. And most important are the people-to-people -people links, embodied in many of you who are here tonight. Now at this point, can I say how proud we all are of the Wales rugby team here tonight? It's no surprise to me that this event is the most popular that we've ever organised, and we've even had to turn people away when we've reached our safety limits. Of course, the team have been flying the flag for Wales in Australia over recent weeks, which in itself helps draw attention to the country and puts it in people's minds. They are, as we all know, a magnificent team. Thus far, you have been a credit to Welsh rugby yet again, and I would like to thank not only you, Council General, but Ron Graham, the President of the Australian Rugby Union, who is here tonight, who have made us feel so welcome since we arrived in Brisbane, then Can Canberra and Melbourne last week. And this week, I know, has been no exception. So thanks very much for the welcome, and I hope that what you said Richard will be true on Saturday because I know the work that the Welsh side have put in. They certainly deserve to win as they deserve to win last Saturday. <laughs> but to be fair to the Australians, they thoroughly deserve to win the first test. But uh, again, Diolkan Vaur, Amak We are very privileged to have this great Welsh team here with us. Sure, they've lost both test matches, but both test matches also could have gone the other way, no doubt about that. So congratulations to Wales and we look forward to a great game. Well hopefully sun on your backs, it's going to be an afternoon game, a great atmosphere at the Sydney Football Stadium. What can we expect? Yeah, the stadium looks great, um, you know, I'm sure the weather will be will hold out and um, you know, it will be another, another great game. You know, Australia picked a very strong team, um, you know, which is good from a spectator's point of view and from our point of view. Um, you know, we want to beat the strongest Australian team that they can possibly field and um, I'm sure it will be another very competitive game and you know, we're certainly very motivated to win. Um, you know, I think the amount of effort we've put in over the last 12 months will be very disappointing to go away with three losses so I think that will motivate us a lot come a Saturday and um, you know, definitely be going for a win. Hooray!